People are excited about AMD's upcoming RX 8000 series graphics cards, as rumors suggest they will be better than the older models. Rumors indicate four new GPUs that could raise the bar for performance and value in the mid-range to high-end markets. Powered by the advanced RDNA 4 architecture, these GPUs are expected to make a big impact in both gaming and professional fields. In today's video, we'll talk about the latest rumors about the AMD Radeon RX 8000 series and explore what AMD might bring with these new cards. AMD's new RX 8000 series might be built on RDNA 4 architecture, which is a big upgrade from the current RDNA 3. RDNA 4 offers better performance, uses less power, and has improved features. It should be faster at tasks like gaming and creating content. One of the best things about RDNA 4 is how efficient it is. AMD is making it much faster without using a lot more power. This means the new graphics cards should be able to run games at high settings without getting too hot or noisy. AMD's RX 8000 series is rumored to feature four new GPUs based on two chips, Navi 48 and Navi 44. The more powerful Navi 48, codenamed GF Zone 1201, targets the high-end mainstream market with up to 28 compute units and 16 GB of GDDR6 VRAM on a 256-bit bus. Early leaks show conservative clock speeds around 2.1 GHz, but final products may approach 3 GHz. The mid-range Navi 44, likely codenamed GFX1200, is speculated to have around 32 compute units and 12 GB of GDDR6 memory on a 192-bit bus. Both chips promise significant performance improvements over current models due to RDNA 4 architectural advancements. AMD's RX 8000 series might include four different models. The top model, the RX 8900 XT, could be compelling, possibly even outperforming NVIDIA's best graphics cards. It might have 56 compute units and 16 GB of GDDR6 memory. The RX 8800 XT would likely be slightly less powerful, but still a great choice for serious gamers. It could have 52 or 48 compute units and also 16 GB of VRAM. The RX 8700 XT could be a good option for 1440p gaming, offering strong performance at a potentially more affordable price. It might have 32 compute units and 12 GB of GDDR6 memory. Finally, the RX 8600 XT could be the most budget-friendly model in the series, targeting 1080p gaming. It might have 28 or 24 compute units and 8 gigabytes of VRAM. While concrete performance data is still lacking, industry insiders and leakers point out that the RX 8000 series could offer significant improvements over the current RX 7000 lineup. Some say they could be 20-30% faster and use less power. They might be especially good at ray tracing. The best RX 8000 cards, which use the Navi 48 chip, could be as powerful as the current RX 7900 XT but use less power. This means AMD might be able to sell them for less money and still compete with other cards. AMD is expected to unveil the Radeon RX 8000 series at CES 2025, which starts on January 7, 2025. The cards should be available for sale soon after that. The most powerful cards, which use the Navi 48 chip, might come out in the first quarter of 2025. The less powerful cards, which use the Navi 44 chip, might come out in the second quarter of 2025. 
We don't know how much the cards will cost, but AMD has been trying to sell more affordable cards than NVIDIA's cards. The most expensive card might cost around $499, and the less expensive cards might cost around $299. AMD's new RX 8000 graphics cards could change the market for computer graphics. AMD is focusing on making these cards affordable for most people, which could mean more people buying them. Gamers might be able to use these cards to play games with better graphics and faster performance, even if they don't have the most expensive computer. People who create content, like videos or 3D models, could also benefit from the increased power of these cards. It could help them do their work faster. AMD's Radeon RX 8000 series, with its four potential new GPUs, represents an exciting step forward in graphics technology. Targeting efficiency and competitive pricing, it aims to challenge NVIDIA's dominance. As CES 2025 approaches, anticipation grows for improved performance, enhanced features, and competitive pricing. AMD's next-generation graphics cards are expected to be a significant milestone in the ever-evolving world of GPUs.